It's another Q&A edition of Optimal Health Daily, episode 985, and I'm Dr. Neil Malik. Hey there, happy Friday, and welcome to another Q&A edition of Optimal Health Daily, where I answer your health questions related to fitness, diet and nutrition, and lots more. You send in the questions, and I answer them for you. If you want to send in an audio question, the short link is oldpodcast.com slash ask, or you can call in and leave a message at 61 I love OHD. So I thank you in advance for sending me your questions. I love listening to and answering them. So let's get right to today's question as we optimize your life. Hi, Dr. Neil. My name is Ken and I'm from the Philippines and I find great value in following your podcast. I'd just like to ask, what are the specific health benefits of drinking water first thing in the morning? I appreciate your thoughts. Thank you very much. Thank you for your question and for your kind words, Ken. And thank you for listening all the way from the Philippines. I'll start by saying that there are a lot of health claims made about the potential benefits of drinking water first thing in the morning, but many of these are myths. In fact, many of the potential benefits that you hear about are all related to one thing, rehydration. In fact, here are some of the health benefits you may have heard about. By drinking water first thing in the morning when you're in a fasted state, it helps you think more clearly, eliminate toxins, and help you burn more calories throughout the day. But here's the deal. When you wake up first thing in the morning, you are waking up dehydrated. If you didn't get up in the middle of the night, you haven't consumed any liquid over the past few hours. And if you've been following my sleep recommendations, then you haven't consumed any liquid for at least seven hours. Now, when we're awake, Very rarely would we go that long without consuming some liquid, even in the form of food. Because remember, fruits and vegetables, for example, are a source of liquid. So again, we wake up essentially dehydrated. And when we think about how we might feel when we don't consume enough water, the symptoms can include things like headache, fatigue, and nausea. So no wonder consuming water first thing in the morning seems to have so many quote-unquote miraculous benefits. So by rehydrating your body, you could be reducing symptoms of headache, fatigue, and just feeling not so great. So there's nothing magical about drinking water first thing in the morning, and the research seems to reveal the same. But what most health professionals do want is for people to drink more water in general, and first thing in the morning is a great time to think about hydrating. Now I should mention, there's a lot of confusion about how much water we actually need to drink each day. You may have heard that we should drink eight glasses of water per day. I'll be honest, I don't like this recommendation. The biggest issue is the definition of a glass. How do we define that? Don't glasses come in many different sizes? In fact, if you were to open the cupboards in my kitchen, you'll see I have sets of glassware of all different shapes and sizes. There are tall skinny glasses, short squat ones, wine glasses, not to mention different coffee and tea mugs. And this is probably what everyone's cupboards look like. Some of the more intelligent health professionals will be even more specific and may say, you should drink eight cups of water per day. Okay, this is better. We can make sense of eight cups. A cup is eight fluid ounces. So eight cups a day means we should consume 64 fluid ounces of water per day. Eight fluid ounces times eight cups equals 64. Now again, While this is an improvement over the eight glasses per day recommendation, I still have issues with this one. This is because depending on a person's body weight, age, gender, level of activity, where they live, and so on, the water recommendations will vary. So the best way to know whether you're drinking enough water each day is to look at your urine color. I know it sounds disgusting, but let's be honest, you're probably looking at it anyway. And if you aren't, you should start now. Your urine should be a light lemonade color. So this means there is a hint of yellow. If it's dark yellow, you may be dehydrated. If your urine is clear, you're consuming too much water. Now don't stress too much if here and there your urine is too dark or very clear. Just try and make sure that it's a light yellow most of the time. Obviously, you don't want your urine to be dark yellow most of the time because long-term dehydration is unhealthy. The reason you actually don't want your urine to be clear most of the time is because overhydration 
may lead to the body getting rid of some important nutrients. You could actually dilute your blood too much and that can lead to its own set of problems. So here's the deal. Drinking water first thing in the morning is a nice habit because it's a great way to rehydrate your body, but it won't provide any miraculous health benefits. And a real quick thanks to BetterHelp. BetterHelp offers online counseling and therapy with licensed therapists from wherever you are and around your schedule. They have counselors specializing in depression, stress, anxiety, self-esteem, anger, grief, and so much more. Therapy can help improve your life in many different ways. We've heard it right here on the show a bunch of times. BetterHelp makes it super convenient in that there are four communication modes, text, chat, phone, and video, and available worldwide. You can start communicating in under 24 hours. Anything you share is confidential, and it's not a crisis line. This is professional counseling and therapy with licensed therapists, which is super important, but actually affordable with financial aid available. Best of all, it's a truly affordable option. Optimal Health Daily listeners get 10% off your first month with discount code OHD. So why not get started today? Go to betterhelp.com slash OHD. Simply fill out a questionnaire to help them assess your needs and get matched with a counselor you'll love. That's betterhelp.com slash OHD. And remember, if you have a question related to diet, fitness, stress management, or anything along those lines, send it in. Just come by oldpodcast.com slash ask. Right on that page, you can record straight from your computer's microphone. It's really easy, and you can even play back your message and do retakes before sending it in. Or you can do it the old-fashioned way and call it. The number is 61 I love OHD. Both methods are in this episode's description, which you can find at oldpodcast.com. All right, that's another week of Optimal Health Daily. Thank you so much for listening every day. I hope you and yours are staying safe and well. I hope you have a wonderful weekend, and I'll see you back here on Monday as usual, where your optimal life awaits.